Howdy. This is a great pilgrim. Let's see if I can get this to work now. Well, I've talked about these pistols before, but I didn't really talk about Arthur Savage, the guy who, des who had them designed. That, and a fellow by the name of Albert Cyril, <clears throat> because Albert Cyril was the actual designer, per se, of these things. And he had one other design that uh, I don't think they ever pursued. He designed one of these pistols, only instead of uh, just being like this, it had an extra safety, which was a squeeze cocking safety. Exactly like the, I think it's called the P7, the Heckler & Koch one. That, I mean, it's exactly the same. But he had developed it back uh, right, at, right at the turn of the century. And I think they made exactly one prototype of it, or he did. And uh, is this thing kind of off? Yeah, there. That's, that's a little better. Yeah, that's a little better. Anyway, that aside, what you're looking at there are two uh, Savage automatic pistols, 32 caliber, 32 ACP. This is a 1907, and this is a 1917. Uh, this is actually from the first year of manufacture of the 1907. How can I tell that? It's got a metal grip plate. Uh, later on, they went to a Bakelite grip plate like this, but uh, uh, no, not exactly. It's, it's like this one, only in Bakelite. Uh, that was developed later as, as a more uh, comfortable design. Some people find the fatter uh, grip to be a little more ergonomic than this one. Uh, I don't know. I prefer this one, but then I've put hundreds and hundreds of rounds through this one and very few through this one so I used to carry this thing quite often uh, it's uh, I know it's only 32 and 32 is frowned on but uh, I have a vast collection of 32s and I like it I just think it's an interesting cartridge and for all it was the official police cartridge in Europe for what a century but anyway the guy who started the company his name was Arthur Savage. Now, Arthur Savage was not an American. He was born in Jamaica. His dad was a, uh, a fit, an official with the, uh, the British government there. Uh, I think he was uh, like basically an accountant. And uh, he had, uh, uh, Savage lived there, and he, he was of the, being of the uh, upper crust of, of Jamaica, at least. Uh, he was sent off to, uh, well, Baltimore and then London for his matriculation. So uh, he did a little bit of traveling, and uh, he developed uh, an, an interesting worldview. He later became something of an explorer, uh, did a lot of interesting things, a lot of interesting things. At one point, he went down and uh, went to Australia, and he took a uh, trip across the outback. And I think he was the very first one to ever document his trip across the, the outback of Australia, and uh, did a lot of observations that uh, the British were really uh, happy with because uh, no one else had uh, said, okay, well, this is where the spring is or, or that, that mountain range or whatever. He uh, liked Australia so much that he uh, became the largest cattle rancher in the, in the nation. He had the largest uh, single cattle ranch. He later sold it. Oh, and by the way, he also found his wife down there. <laughs> And they had like eight kids, four boys, four girls. Uh, from Australia, he moved to the U.S. And uh, he, I mean, he made good money as a, as a rancher down there and uh, sold his cattle business. And uh, with the proceeds from that, moved to the U.S. And then he, uh, oh, let's see, he was working for a, a railroad in uh, Utica. And then he was working for... Uh, Oh, uh, a, a hammering company, uh, a, a company that used big industrial hammers to, to press out various parts. And uh, the main, mainly they were in the business as pressing out gun parts. And he got interested in guns. Well, he and his son, who, were, who was also named Arthur Savage, uh, developed some interesting ideas for guns. And they, they came up with some really interesting patterns. Uh, his 1895 and later 1899 revol uh, revolving cylinder, uh, well, revolving magazine uh, lever action rifles became the hit with uh, hunters and, and uh, you know, hobbyists. 
And uh, the Model 99 in particular, I used to own a Model 99, pristine condition, and it was a Type 1, which is the, uh, the one with the rotating uh, magazine. So, and it has a little uh, counter on the side, so it'll hold up to five rounds. So you shoot off two, and it would show three uh, on the, the counter. I once took that rifle to a plinking range, and I was the only one there. I thought, oh, what the heck? I had a, an ammo can full of, uh, of ammo, and I just blasted away at that uh, berm, oh, I don't know, for hours, to the point where that barrel was just smoking hot. But uh, it just continued to shoot and shoot very accurately. I like that rifle. Anyway, this is a book about Savage and Stevens as well. Savage bought the Stevens Company, and... Uh, it uh, this this book is is back, uh, I don't know who's got as the author, uh, but he's actually uh, uh, well just one of many because uh, there's articles throughout here about various aspects of the Savage Company, and uh, reprints of, of different catalogs and the like. And it's it's a it's a good book. Uh, Stackpole or I forget who put it out. Uh, Jerry Kimmel. Let's see if I if I can tell. Uh, I mean, this might be a Vanity Press. It might be uh Well, maybe not. I don't know if it died or didn't. Well, I'll uh, I'll do some voodoo in quick time and see if that thing will come back. Oh, it just hit it again and it came back. This thing must have a timer on it or something. Anyway, I was saying, uh, Bailey Brower's book is the best one in print right now on the Savage Pistol. James Carr had a book out, but it's been out of print for many, many years. Uh, there are two or three other smaller books. Uh, you may notice a couple of books here. This, this, this one here is a reprint of the actual manual for the Savage, and this one, The Tenderfoot's Turn, which is written by, of all people, uh, Bat Masterson, is an advertising promo done in the, in the style of a Penny Dreadful. And it's an interesting read as a story, but it's also uh, good advertising. Uh, Savage pistols were mainly marketed to the young, to, to fe females. Uh, you'd buy it for your wife, and the idea was that it was small enough that it would fit a, a feminine hand, and provided their uh, tagline, which was 10 shots quick. Uh, it was the very first uh, magazine-fed uh, pistol that would hold a double stack, and I think it was the only double stacked American until the Smith & Wesson Model 59, which I also owned for a while. Uh, it's a interesting pistol. It's just an interesting pistol. But Savage went on from there. He sold his interest in the Savage Arms Company uh, when they were at their height and uh, went off to California. And he tried gold mining. He tried oil uh, mining. He tried, uh, uh, I think he opened up a, an orange grove company for a while. Some worked, some didn't work so well. And then he got into uh, running a tire company. Then he invented something else, the radial tire. <laughs> yeah, by the way, he also invented the box magazine. Uh, yes, I know, the Lee Medford and, and, the, and the Lee uh, rifles did indeed have a box magazine, but the, the box with the, the ta detachable box with a, a magazine release, that was a savage design. And everybody used it, but uh, that was his original design. Uh, he also developed a, 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 a submarine a torpedo, come to think of it, that probably would have worked better in World War II for America if it weren't for uh, politics. But, uh, you know, it, the, the original uh, American torpedoes were duds, by the way, which is why we uh, uh, fared pretty poorly against the Japanese at first. Anyway, uh, good book on him, I think. Both of these, the, the, the Brower book is an excellent book upon the pistols. He's a collector who happens to show off his collection. I've not read the car book. I should order a copy. I do know of a place that has one. But it's expensive. It's so expensive. But anyway, just two interesting books. And Savage is just one of those characters in history that uh, uh, he, uh, he, he invented so many things. He went so many places. He did so many things. You know, he, he had a, a long and a very fruitful life. Uh, ended up with a uh, diagnosis for cancer and I don't know if this is working or not because it keeps dying on me. I have no idea why. It must have some timer on it or something. I don't understand cameras. Never have, never will. Anyway, as I was saying, Savage. Interesting fellow. Interesting life. 
did a lot of interesting things and invented some wonderful guns uh, and paid to have some guns. Like Albert Cyril was the actual genius behind this one, but Savage paid him, so uh, it, it bears the Savage name. <laughs> anyway, that's about all I had to say. Happy trails. <laughs>